the uh, Mall of the Americas, the largest shopping mall in the United States. This gave the climate change campaigners who had not had the confidence to have a national demonstration ever before in the United States, they had the confidence to call one in Washington and to call one about fracking but making climate change absolutely central to it and filling the platform with First Nation and indigenous people talking about fracking and the pipelines and climate change and they expected 30,000 people, they had 50,000 people on that demonstration. That has, I think, two a lesson for us and an effect. The lesson is that we can rebuild, I think, a national movement by massive amounts of local action, but local direct action. And direct action of the kind people have been talking about over all the issues. That can give us a head of steam to build up nationally as well. But the other thing, and the other lesson is it's it's because the climate is getting worse. That's at the basis of it. People can actually see it now. But the other thing is, what happens in the United States has a big effect across all the world. That is overwhelmingly a bad thing. Uh, but <laughs> in this case, in this case, what we saw coming out of the United States after 2009, after Copenhagen, the Obama administration pulled together all of the NGOs, the environmental NGOs, to a meeting in Washington in 2009 and told them all, it's time to stop talking about climate change. And we will only talk about energy. And it's been reported in The Guardian. All of them except 350 agreed to do that. And in the wake of um, Copenhagen and everything, we've seen, I think, a demobilization of, of activity over climate change. The NGOs were on this demonstration in Washington, the Sierra Club, the Greenpeace, and so on. They've come back on board there about doing something. I think this means it makes it easier for us everywhere to turn it around. I think that we have been globally for about three years after 2009 and after Copenhagen, after the massive demonstration we had here then, we have been as a climate movement on the retreat. I think the tide is turning. Thank you.